Hey, welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, we found the little egg at the uh, Degasi habitat in the Grand Reef. So we're gonna we're gonna pop this in the alien containment system and uh, find out what it hatches into. So it's down here past the uh, water filtration system. Here, this is uh, in the shallows base. You can see I don't have anything in it yet. I just just started fooling around with it when I got back from this mission. And uh, later on, you'll see I put some basic fish in it and uh, hatched a couple other eggs as well. So let's drop them in there and uh, drop this other egg in there while we're at it. See what that hatches into. I think the big one is a, um, a stalker egg because I know those are all over the place around the uh, kelp forest where the stalkers live. came back after a little while fooling around and uh, you can see he's moving around in there a little bit very cute little thing <laughs> right there <laughs> all right grab and take him outside Good a spot as any, I guess. Boink. <laughs> That's adorable. I don't know if it's gonna swim away or what. <laughs> it follows like a dog. <laughs> That's great. Now he's not following me anymore. So I'm thinking if we put him someplace and tell him to not follow, then he'll stick around that part of the... Uh, oh, wow. He'll stick around that part of the... Uh, the base. So 
this looks pretty good because it's in front of the observatory and it's above the thermal vent. So, come on. Alright, you just hang out here. See you next time. Hey, welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, I'm gonna show you the base that I built here uh, in deep water. See, it's uh, let's turn the HUD back on. We're down at 900 meters right now. Uh, I built this base because uh, I had a bunch of quest stuff to do down here, materials to mine. Uh, so that's the prawn suit right there. And up here I got the outdoor grow plots. Uh, this, has, this is all stuff for uh, creating items. Uh, this isn't any, isn't any food out here at all. Um, I love these uh, creep vines because they get them off that cool orange light. There's the water purifier and the, and the indoor food there. We'll take a look at that. And we have the scanning room up here. So the moon pool, obviously with the upgrade bay over there. We're parking the, uh, well I don't use the sea moth down here because it can barely go this deep. Uh, we can put the uh, prawn suit in there and let it charge and we've got a constructor and battery and power cell chargers for charging the power cells on, uh, <clears throat> I was using it to power, the power, recharge the power cells on the cyclops and the prawn but both of them now have um, uh, thermal units in them that let them charge the batteries from heat at the bottom of the ocean. Here it's uh, it's warm enough just to charge just sitting down here. And here's the uh, scanning room. And it's got... Uh, <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't want to load uh, textures in there, doing it like that. So I really love what they did with this area. Uh, series known as uh, this particular one is the tree cove and this is the tree of life out here that I'm set up in front of and overall area going this way is called the lost river and uh, you can see it's really neat the way they did it you know with the colors because <laughs> you know it's it almost looks like you're not underwater where this is the water down here And uh, there's resources that you can mine down here with the uh, bronze suit. I'm sure, there's probably. I've been down here mining like a madman lately, so there's there's few um, where you could just pick them up. Like here's some nickel ore. So and uh, let's go back inside here. Welcome aboard, Captain. So right, we checked out that. 
and over here is the uh, canteen it's just a, it's a short simple way to call it and this is where I've got the water filtration unit got some food a couple different kinds of food just uh, guess why not uh, storage of course And here's uh, alien containment. And right now I'm just, uh, if you put two or more of the same species of fish in here, they will they will reproduce. So, grabbed a couple of these out and around, I don't remember about them, but down here somewhere in the depths. And uh, yeah, they breed, so I'll feed myself with those and the fruit. So up here I've got my uh, power units. These are thermal generators. Like I said, I got it in the uh, Cyclops here and the prawn suit. Uh, these generate power from uh, geothermal heat. And so I've got them propped way up here on top of this foundation where they're... This one's at 80 Celsius. It doesn't really get much hotter than that in this game. Uh, I think it gets up to like 90 if you put it right in the lava. Uh, but I don't have any of that here. Works great. Not terribly expensive either, uh, but I have found a bunch of uh, uranite crystals, and uh, I'm gonna try a, a nuclear reactor before I quit this game because I want to see how they work. So, all right, that's the base. We've already looked at the Cyclops once before, and we'll be jumping in the prawn suit shortly here to. Um, Head down to the deep dark depths and uh, see if we can find this special Leviathan that's down there that they named the uh, Sea Emperor. So, yeah, talk to you then.